Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Today, I would like to tell you all about my favorite device at home, Alexa. Cancel. She's always interrupting. I wanna first tell you that I am actually a late adopter to technologies. I held on to my CDs for a really long time. I like the album art. I like that you had lyrics included in them. I like that you could stack them into towers, place them in your car. So I don't even think I bought an MP3 and I certainly have not subscribed to Spotify to make playlists to stream music. I also held on to my DVDs for a long time. I loved having, again, the cover, the little coupons inside. Sometimes you got two or three discs. You got to clean them every once in a while. I loved it. I never subscribed to Netflix. I never got a DVD in the mail. Even though they were still physical, I didn't understand that service. And it took me a long time to cut the cable. And it also took me a long time to accept these devices into my home. But now that I have seven of them in my house, I'm here to tell you three reasons why you should get an Alexa. Cancel. Always interrupting. The first reason why you should get her is because she has the best name. Does anybody here know what Siri stands for? Let me tell you, it stands for Speech Interpretation and Recognition Interface. How boring is that? We all hate acronyms around here. We don't need another one in our lives. Don't get a home device that's just an acronym. And what about another competitor, the Google Home device? You know how to wake up a Google Home? You say, hey Google, how many Google engineers did it take and how long were they sitting in a conference room before they came up with that genius wake up name? Hey Google. And it's so disrespectful. I don't say, hey you, start a timer. I don't say things like that. I, I call you by your first name. So don't get that device. Now let me tell you, what does Alexa mean? I didn't interrupt that time. Her name is reminiscent of the Library of Alexander, which was at one time the keeper of all knowledge. And that's an amazing name. So of those three devices, which one would you pick? Now, if I haven't sold you yet, let me tell you about her features. She is awesome at keeping shopping lists. And since I have seven of these devices all around my house, I never need a pen and pen, pen and paper. I never need my phone with me. I can just say, Alexa, add cheese sticks to the shopping list. Cheese sticks added. She's also a great timer, especially useful in the kitchen when your hands are dirty and you don't wanna to touch the oven timer, you don't wanna to touch the stove timer and you don't wanna to touch your phone and she can set multiple types of timers. And the last feature that I really like is I can intercom to other Alexas, cancel, in my home. Instead of yelling at the top of my lungs, kids, it's time for bed. Kids, it's time for lunch. Kids, it's time to clean up your rooms. I can tell her to tell them and they actually listen to her. Now the last reason I wanna tell you why you should buy this device in your home is that she is entertaining. For a while, my husband and I were playing Jeopardy with her. It's basically a trivia game. She tells you a, an answer. You say the answer in the form of a question. And at the end, she scores you among all the people who've played Jeopardy that day. And honestly, I'm, I, I always win. So it's basically just me playing by myself, but I love that trivia at the end of dinner. It's very exciting. She's also great at telling jokes. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call an elephant who can do many things at once? A multi-tusker. 
A multi-tusker is an elephant. Okay, not all the jokes are funny, but I challenge you to ask your device, how many sheep does it take to change a light bulb? Mind blown, okay? I, I, I was ro literally rolling on the floor laughing. She's also great at settling bets. Now recently, my husband and I were eating dinner and I thought I had ordered trout, but what came to my plate seemed like salmon and I was very distraught that I had received salmon and not trout. So we asked Alexa what the difference was. We read books, we went on Google, and it turns out steelhead trout is a type of fish that looks and tastes a lot like salmon. Who knew? Now, technically, she didn't give us that answer, but she led us down a path in which I was right that trout is a class of fish that doesn't necessarily include salmon, but does can taste like salmon. So my husband and I love to use it for settling debts, uh, settling bets. So you're thinking, why should I get this device? She's always listening to me. But you know what? So is your phone. And sometimes she doesn't listen to you, but isn't that like any other human? And sure, sometimes she puts cheese mitts on your shopping list because of instead of cheese sticks, but hey, why are we discounting cheese mitts? <laughs> they sound delicious. So if you're in the market for a smart device, choose one with the coolest name, has features that actually work, and provides entertainment when you are sick of the people you've been quarantined with. Alexa, isn't that right? Sorry, I don't know that. Hmm. Thank you. And Alexa. <laughs> I, I have one of those in this room and you, you've activated her several times <laughs> during your speech. Mm. Dang it. Okay, she did it again. Anyway, um, so your speech was very, very well structured. Um, I loved how you integrated Alexa into the speech and looked at, at the device. I thought that, and I, and I think this is a perfect speech for a virtual. Hmm, I don't know that. Okay, cancel. I think this is a perfect speech for uh, a virtual meeting because you would not, I don't think you would have been able to do this speech at at um at the job so it's like yeah you're bridging the virtual and you know this needed to give a speech so very creative um great vocal variety you had a good pace to your speeching your speaking and also your pronunciation was very good very clear i believe everyone could understand exactly what you're saying um your hand gestures were great you know with your exasperations and everything like that so that was good the humor was there. I thought the humor was very good. I loved how you uh, kind of trashed all the other devices and broke down their names and you're just so mean to them. <laughs> I thought it worked for the humor element. And um, and I liked how you, you know, you were convincing us, you were trying to convince us to get one of those. Um, and you listed all the features of the device. So I don't know, I mean, I already have one, so, you know, you, you don't have to convince me, but I don't, you may have convinced some other people. Uh, some things to improve your webcam. I guess your webcam is not at the same level as the screen. So you weren't really, it didn't seem like you were looking at us. Maybe, you know, the people are on your screen, but the webcam is up. So there was no like eye contact, virtual eye contact. So that was something I noticed. I don't know if there's anything you could do about that. And also um, your final your final appeal, your final push for the device, it was that, you know, don't worry about her listening because your phone listens too. But my thing is, I mean, two wrongs don't make it right, Lisa. <laughs> I just I, you know, maybe I don't want any of that. So maybe if you find like one one final appeal that that is different, you know, is not equivocating, well, you you put up with that just put up with this or maybe something else that really will put that device over the top you know you can't you can't deny it so in summary i would like to say great speech um cheese sticks are now on my shopping list and um 
when you gave your final thank you, my device said, you're welcome. <laughs>